This is the side with the what side was this again? From you wake up every morning, you a winner. Yeah. What going on, guys? It's a girl Razor in the brrrr, the, the thing, and welcome back to another video. If you're new, hey boo, and if you're returning, what's up? What's up? What's up. if you're not new we know that the blue magic indian hemp is my favorite but i haven't really tried out the blue magic original but before we move on out of the indian hemp and the original which one is your favorite comment down below also thank you to blue magic for sponsoring this video blue magic has been rocking with us for a while and we really appreciate it over here our views and opinions are mine and honest of course in today's video i'm going to see which one I like the best. So on one side, I'll use the Blue Magic Indian Hemp Grease, and on the other side, I'll use the Blue Magic Original Grease. And the hairstyle I'm going to choose today is my regular twist. Let's get into the video. So my hair, let's talk about the hair. <laughs> I have been getting in the habit of not moisturizing my hair or keeping my hair moisturized. Sad story, bro. But it's okay. It's not the most moisturized. It's just a little, you know. I just didn't really upkeep with my hair. The only thing though is that we won't be starting off with freshly washed hair but hopefully that does not interfere with my conclusion. We're going to start off with the Blue Magic, the original, the OG, the big top. This just smells like old school memories, you know? It smells like getting hit to sit down one place to do your hair. So you guys know the color, it's blue. It's not too, too thick. So I'm gonna break my hair into sections. I'm gonna spritz the hair. Get my hair damp, detangle. I'm gonna do that medium sized. So this section is good back here. I like to make the back a little smaller. Now I'm going to apply, start with a little bit first, start on the ends and work my way up and smooth the grease onto my hair. I'm gonna braid my roots. So break the hair into three, braid about a half an inch down, then break it into two and then twist detangle if needed be and then continue twisting as i get closer to the ends we are getting some curl definition a little bit i don't twist all the way down to the ends i'm just gonna twirl the ends around my fingers one twist down and now for this section i can break this into two finger detangle first and sometimes i do use a comb to part my hair detangle and apply the grease Start on my ends, work the grease up, and add more grease if needed. Break the roots into three, break the roots first, break into two or half, and twist. I find with the original, it goes on like butter. It kind of just melts into your hair. Probably has a lot more oils. The first ingredients are petrolatum, lanolin, lecithin, mineral oil. I'm now at the end, so I'm gonna put some more grease on my ends. Goes on literally like butter onto the hair. That's all I'm going to be doing. Now I'm going to finish this side of my hair. And then we're side with the original is done now we're going to move on to the indian hemp on this side so it's getting late so i may have to turn on my ring light it may play a difference in how my hair looks from natural daylight so let's talk about the indian hemp what does it smell like <sighs> So the original smells like childhood memories mixed with tears and the Indian hemp smells like I'm grown now. Like sweet. I actually like the smell. It's not too strong. It's not perfumey at all. It's just nice and subtle. It smells like flowers. And I feel like the Indian hemp is very thick. It's much thicker than the original for sure. And I don't feel like it has as much oil. So let's talk about the first couple ingredients. The first couple ingredients are petrolatum, coconut oil, lanolin, Hoba seed oil, green tea leaves, safflower seed oil. This doesn't have lecithin in the first couple ingredients and it also doesn't have mineral oil in the first couple ingredients. That's probably why the Indian hemp is a lot thicker than the original. So let's get to twisting. You already know the steps of twisting so I don't have to go over the steps but I'll show you a couple twists and then we'll take a look at how my hair looks. It got dark on me, so I had to bring out my light. I don't really like using it, but... Okay, so this is the side with the Indian hem. Take a good look. And this is the side with the original. 
to original Indian hemp. The original Indian hemp. So let's do a comparison real quick. So the side with the originals is a lot softer. It has been out for a little while, so my hair probably has marinated and feels good and thing. But this side is really soft. Versus this side, it's soft, but it's a lot heavier. And this side is also a lot shinier versus this side. And as well, I did put some gel on my ends over here to curl the ends. And I haven't put any gel on these ends yet. So just on the Indian hemp grease, my curls are already curled together. On the Indian hemp side as well, instead of just sitting on top of my hair, it actually went into my cuticles and hydrated my hair a little bit versus hydrated and moisturized kind of. We know grease doesn't moisturize. We know grease is a sealant. However, anytime I use the Indian hemp, I feel like it actually goes into my cuticles and goes deep into side and moisturizes and seals that's how i feel about the internet you can already tell from application which side is my favorite but i'm going to come back tomorrow so you guys can see what my hair looks like in daylight la this part is not straight i gave myself like a swoop a curved part instead of straight y'all it was getting dark and the lighting in my room isn't the best so i couldn't see <laughs> this side feels like very fluffy and soft versus this side feels soft and heavy as i said so i can already tell the difference just from application but let's give it a couple days to see if my hair stays moisturized longer on one side versus the other it's late and i want some daylight so see you guys in the morning or afternoon whenever we have daylight it's been about two days and this is what we're looking like the edges are usually gonna be sweated out sometimes i do refresh sometimes i don't and i've just been rocking a bun at the back just to keep my hair off of me and stretched so my ends won't really get dried out to keep my ends protected but really and truly throughout my daily routine i don't want my hair all over me to be honest this is the side with the what side was this again? This is the side with the original. So my hair is stretched out now. Versus being curly. Well, the ends. My hair is still moisturized. Still soft. So the side with the Indian hemp. Still moisturized as well. So far, I'm not seeing a major difference in the moisture content per se. It's just that my edges are going to do what my edges do. So I have to leave the house in a couple minutes. I'm thinking to refresh my edges. I really thought I had time to properly redo my edges, but I don't. <laughs> Change of plans. I have to leave the house in like a couple minutes. Less than five minutes to be on time. I'm going to tell you my conclusion in a bit. To conclude, the Indian hemp one is a lot less greasy than the... The original the Indian hemp also gave me more shine than the original I feel like it hydrated and moisturized my hair versus just sitting on my hair that's what I felt the originals did the originals did give me softer hair my hair was a lot more softer from using the original but my hair was still soft using the Indian hemp and I got some pearl definition going on in there I feel like they both work really well in keeping my hair moisturized and sealing my hair and I probably would reach for the Indian hemp versus reaching for the original so to conclude the Indian hemp is that girl she is bae she is the one she is the one for me okay let's be clear on that thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it see you in the next one bye bye